Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my topic today is to, for you to be aware of the ones who bring the bad news. Um, in, in a lot of instances, you have people who bring bad news and, and spread rumors and spread a lot of gossip. And, you know, at times the gossip is just based on politics. You know, in case in point is uh, bus consolidation. Uh, we have a lot of rhetoric going on about bus consolidation. Bus consolidation um, is a is a is a um, was a negotiated thing from back in 2002. We've heard all the ins and outs of the bus consolidation issue, right? We we heard the pros and the cons of bus consolidation. Bus consolidation is here, right? And it's here to stay. Now. Something happened in maintenance. If you're a bus operator, and and you go with the rhetoric that um, that well, if it happened to maintenance, um, it's going to happen to transportation. First of all, maintenance never maintenance did never did wag wag the the whole dog. It, ma maintenance is what it is. It's its own department. Um, we're we're operators that that operate out of the department of buses. We have similar titles in the, in the Department of Buses, Map Store, NTA Surface. So there's no no reason for us to deconsolidate. The only thing that we're looking for is a correction on how con consolidation was implemented. Period. Point blank. I hear many other rhetoric. I'm going to call out a few of them. I'm going to call out Joe Campbell. Joe Campbell is lying to you guys. All right. I don't hate the guy. I. But I pity the people who listen to the guy because he is most definitely not telling you guys the truth. How could he? He doesn't talk to the source of the Department of Buses. He doesn't talk to the to the to the source for the reason of the problems that happen over consolidation. So all he can tell talk to you about is, oh, you're displacing people. Well, how are we displacing people if we're not sending anybody anywhere? So what are you talking about, Joe? That's what I want to know. All right, I want to know what you're talking about. You're giving a lot of instruction on false information. And the Bible always said, beware the false prophets. Beware them false prophets because they're really out there. It's true. Um, and another thing, you beware them, them same people who, who will probably intentionally try to take your pension. And, like, again, I'm not hating. My thing is life experience, and I'm, I'm, I'm basing everything on, on, us, on what I love on my experience. All right, bus consolidation. 2010, there was some layoffs, right? The layoffs happened. We we fought the layoffs because we didn't feel the layoffs was fair. We filed the grievance. I bet you these people can't even explain why the grievance was filed. People cannot even explain why the lawsuit was put into place. The lawsuit was put into place to correct a problem that existed. It wasn't fair. They, they negotiated a contract. They gave you a grievance procedure that you couldn't even file a grievance over. So why wouldn't we say it's a lawsuit? Why wouldn't we do a lawsuit? An injury to one is an injury to all. That's what they say, right? So don't we all want to be on the same page? If I'm if I'm lying, I'm flying. All right? Um, I know I have a lot of friends on here that um, are not from my, my industry. Just bear with me a little bit. I'm talking about transit stuff right now. But, um... I just want to keep it entirely real because there's a lot of politics out here. And, you know, switching gears over to politics, um, if you look and you see a lot of changes to, sh to street corners, you see a lot of changes to how you cross the street, you see a lot of changes by putting bike lanes and th things of that nature in the, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the streets. It's causing a lot of uh, traffic congestion. All right, and and the goal is really the protection of bicyclists. Now, I don't have no n nothing against a bicyclist, but it interferes with my line of work. As a bus operator, I operate a bus, and, I, and my goal is to get people to point A to point um, B safely. Right now, if you operate a bus, it's almost impossible to do anything safe with the amount, with the amount of congestion that's going on in the city of New York. Where does the congestion come from? It comes from these street changes. And that's what it is. And we really need to really get out here and, and, and get involved in our community boards. I'm telling you, 
what I know now. You got to get involved in your community boards because these people are making a lot of decisions all around um, the people who live in the city of New York and making decisions that really go against our better beliefs. All right, get involved. It's it's it's. It, find out where your where your your community boards are. If you inbox me, I'll find out. Just let me give me a roundabout where you live. I'll find out where your district is. I'll find out where your where your particular district is, and 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 we need to start attending these things. It doesn't matter if it's a local 100 thing or if it's a. I work in, in the city of New York for DC 37. We all pretty much have the same issues, right? And I want to close on. I want to say one more thing. I want to talk about Janice. And we got to really get educated on Janice. Janice, um, the briefs will be heard sometime in February. I'm pretty sure Janice will have an effect on everybody who's on my page regarding um, re regarding um, the loss of union dues checkoff. Anybody who's on my page who works for the city of some sort and is represented by a public sector union, Janice will affect you. J-A-N-U-S. But back to the point on on um, what I was telling you about um, bus consolidation. I'm telling you as if, I'm telling you with, with, with so much truth that nothing's happening with consolidation. The bus operators, if you wanna pick into Brooklyn, you'll be able to pick into Brooklyn. If you wanna pick into Mapstore, Manhattan or the Bronx, you'll be able to still continue to pick into Mapstore, Manhattan and the Bronx. So let's kill the rhetoric, all right? Let's kill the lies. And 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 I challenge. I'm not. Listen, I'm I'm I, I don't look at myself as anybody particularly, but I challenge the folks who's telling you these lies, and I challenge you. I challenge all of y'all to challenge them to say why. Did, let's go to the beginning. Let's go to Genesis. Why did the why did the grievance get filed? Why did the transit authority take us to court to stop the grievance? Why? Why did the union file the, the um the um why did the union file the, the lawsuit in the first place? Why I can answer all of these questions. The people who are telling you negative things, they can't answer nothing. Alright? You wanna learn something, I'm willing to teach it. But you gotta be you gotta be willing to really want the truth. Because anything else is being sold to you out there is pure rhetoric. And with that being said, I'm going to close on saying Happy New Year. And I want to shout you all out. Mar Marilyn, I see you. Have a, Be good. Be good. I'll be in touch with you real soon. Um, I'll probably be doing a, a, a live on the Map Store site. So for those of y'all who are transit workers, particularly bus operators, I have a Map Store page. It's called the Manhattan and Bronx Surface Transit Operating Authority. Those That's the, the, the wording that, that represents Map Store. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be safe.